Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number three. <laughs> I said I'd make a little chart, did I? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> so uh, in the very beginning, I'm going to ask, send me all your, your cold remedies. We prefer not to take medicine, so, you know, the any kind of thing that works for you for a cold. It seems like, of course, it's just a cold. Everyone's fine, but you know, uh, <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be good. We'll be good. But <clears throat> we'll see how long my voice lasts for all of this. Oh, I saw a, a Jason sighting and Abigail's tile. That is a tower of slime that she's made. Like, yeah, that that's happening. We're just getting ready to for me to go to work and I'm taking all the kids to school. So I will see you after we wrap that up. Okay, you guys, I just got home from my shift um, at the school and I wanna show you what I come home to. Uh, it, let me, I, I would say just let me show you, but so every day when I open that door, it's like I left my dog for a million hours. He's just not sure I was coming back. Chewy? Oh. oh, hello! Oh, hello! Hi! Hello, Chewy! Did you miss me? Hi! Hello! Hello! <laughs> you getting the snaps? He's so excited. Oh my goodness. Were you sleeping? <laughs> He's so happy. You guys are so happy. Hi. Do you need a treat? Yeah, okay, let's go get one. Come on. Let's go. Let's go get one. Well, I'm going to take a different approach to this vlog, so it's a little bit different. My cold, you know, you know, still here. <laughs> and Chewy decided to make an appearance right at the get-go. Chewy, what? He's looking at me at the stairs like, quit talking to your phone. Is this all you do? Is that you barking, Steven? No. <laughs> all right, the dog is with the kids. I'm gonna get my hair uh, pulled back and then it's actually quite late here already. It's 8.38 p.m., which for me is late. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I would need to make some banana bread because I saw there's some bananas that are going pretty brown. And I thought it might be nice for the kids to have either for snack tomorrow or if they want it for breakfast. I don't know how healthy that is for breakfast. Maybe for snack tomorrow. But I love this recipe and I wanted to share it with all of you. So today is banana bread day. Vlog number three. <laughs> first things first. Uh, so this is Alexander's Grandma Hazel's recipe. So it's called Hazel's Banana Bread. I said the best by far, 10 out of 10. So this is a tip that I'm gonna give everybody. For me, in all my recipe books, I give a recipe a rating out of 10. Also, I always make notes in it if there's something, I don't know why there's so much stuff on here, but uh, rating 10 out of 10 and any suggestions of what would make it better. So uh, this is the actual recipe. I'll put it in the comments, comments in the description below as well. Quarter cup of butter cup of sugar, egg, three ripe bananas, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and a smidge of vanilla. I make mine with a gluck of vanilla. You'll see. And then those are the instructions. I will put that in the description down below just in case I am too shaky. So that reminds me, I'm not sure what happened with the audio on the last one. This one's going to have my voice is having trouble. So won't even be a, I think what happened is I ch uploaded the video before it was done processing and the audio uh, in my editing program shows the music not that loud, but in the video, there was even one part where my, my words were not matching my mouth. So that happened. <laughs> it keeps it interesting, you know, it takes me all over the place, but yeah, that's what happened there. We're just going to have to pretend that didn't happen and Look forward to the next ones. Hopefully it doesn't happen in this one. I'll take my time. I will make sure I check. I hopefully will check. We'll see when this gets up. Okay, so we're gonna start with a quarter cup of butter. So I gotta show you guys, I put it in the wrong bowl. Oh. So a quarter cup of butter. 
our butter. For those of you that have the same butter as me, Chewy, no. It has these little measurements on the side, but we don't really have sticks of butter. It comes in this two cup big brick, which is fine with me because that's all I remember them being. And I am using, what is this? This is butter. I'm guessing that means it's salted. Don't take my word for it. So, and then sugar goes into this. One cup of sugar, a giant Tupperware thing of sugar. So I like to blend mine. Mine is not at room temperature because I like doing things the hard way. I use a pastry cutter. I think this is called a pastry blender, pastry cutter, right? This thing, you know, this thing. <laughs> I like to cut it up with this first because it ends up, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's banana bread. You can't really mess it up. Oh, I see that. But you know what I'm almost forgetting? All right, hold on. We need to preheat the oven to 350. So I'll sort of clip that in a second. I'm not really gonna start. I'm not really gonna stop. I'm gonna stop after. <laughs> Through the movie magic. This is my workout for the day and I'm getting it everywhere. That's how I roll. It would be easier if you just let this come to room temperature, of course, but I need this done. <laughs> so anyways, I'll probably speed that up for you guys so you don't get all bored watching me cook. Okay. And the other tip is I always have a sink of hot soapy water going so that it can be going at the same time. Egg goes into here, but <clears throat> especially because I am doing it on camera, make sure you don't break it into another dish first. You know why? Because I love dishes. No, it's not that. That way, if you do get a shell, not a big deal. You can take it out before you're fishing it out of your banana bread. Or, you know, it won't kill you if it goes in your banana bread, but it won't taste very good. All right, put the egg in there. I guess I don't need this knife in here anymore. <coughs> I'm just gonna mix it with a fork into it. You can't really mess, I don't wanna say that. This recipe, you can't really mess up. Because if you could, I would have done it. Yeah, for sure. Because I tend to rush through things, so. Except for painting, as you guys know. <laughs> That I like to do it a million times in a row. <laughs> I haven't even shown you guys all of that painting yet. All right, we got that. Our delicious brown bananas. That I, I don't know why I didn't get all my supplies, the supplies that I thought I would need. It's harder to get them off of the bunch when it's that ripe. I mean, it's not so bad, it's not like completely goo. If your bananas start going brown, you can always, I would suggest peeling them first and then freezing them because then you can use it in smoothies. But it is a pain to get frozen bananas out of their peeling as well as they are gooey. So I just put them in a freezer bag and put them in the fridge. But these ones I caught before having to do that. So sorry, I have a cough today. Hopefully that's the end stage of the cold. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm coughing on my shoulder. I'm not adding that to my recipe. Just be thankful you're not eating this, you guys. All right. Oh my goodness, I, have, I can make everything look difficult. And off, shot, off screen. So that way, why, why have a cooking video where you can't even see what's happening? <laughs> All right, mash the bananas. You know, so they're mashed. Whew. I hate cooking at night because the kids are going to be able to smell this and it's just going to make them hungry while they're in their beds. Okay, it's looking pretty mushed. I mean, worst case scenario, you get a chunk of banana. Still good. This all goes into the mush. I just 
get a rubber spatula, quick. I don't want to waste banana. Okay, compost that. Well, now it's not composting. Now it's just, you know, sitting in my compost bin until next year. Right now it's popsicling back there, I guess. So usually you would do one bowl for dry, one bowl for wet, for wet, but this ends up working fine just using the bowl. So we're not gonna do that. I've already made enough dishes. Chewy, so one and a half cups of flour. I'm just using Robin Hood enriched all-purpose flour. Just flour, it doesn't matter. You can use um, brown flour. You guys know. You guys know how to make it healthier if you want to. I have white flour, so that is what I'm using. Usually I do half and half, like um, all wheat and flour, or kind of whatever I have, or a mixture. But, oh, sorry, that I hit the camera. I'm not gonna stir this all the way in because I wanna get the soda in first. And why did I get nothing ready? I like to take a little container and put the soda in here. Oh, it's spilling out the back too. And then whatever I don't use, I use for cleaning. So, all right, let me look. One teaspoon of soda, baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So, and I just have just regular old household salt, it says. Well, there's that. So a quarter teaspoon. I'm doing it over the sink, because I'm messy. <laughs> quarter teaspoon of salt. So you stir that all in. You know, until it's mixed. It seems like this is a much faster recipe when I'm not trying to hurry it up so that you guys don't get tired of me. I could have just had this all ready. You know, maybe next time I do a recipe, I'll have it all in separated into a container so you get the gist and you don't have to do it real time. Although, with this being real time, where's my face? There's my face, hi face. <laughs> with this being real time, you could make this literally at the same time as me. Although I'm not gonna make you sit through cooking time because it cooks for 50 minutes. <laughs> if I had ever done that, then whoever said I was trying to stretch out the vlog, then you'd be correct. And you guys should write me and be like, what, what was that? That's, that's not cool. That would be like watching paint dry in a sense. All right, back to the mixture. Mixture of banana-y goodness. Once it's at this stage, you want a gluck of vanilla, it's all up to you guys. This one's artificial vanilla, because I went all cheap and didn't. Uh, I'm gonna say that I put in like, maybe half, I don't know, that might've been, I have no clue. Maybe half a tablespoon, maybe a teaspoon. I have no clue, you're gonna have, you saw, it's a gluck. <laughs> but so for me, I do this with my, um, I don't know if you can see that, I just make a tiny hole because otherwise I'm gonna go and accidentally pour way too much in every time. I do that with the vinegar too. I only make a tiny hole in the top of the vinegar because then, you know, I have a chance. So you can mix in chocolate chips into this, cocoa nibs, berries if you wanted, like dried berries. I don't know how fresh berries would do. Probably fine. Might make it mushier though. Usually I'd put in walnuts, but because the kids are, the kids might be taking it to school, it's a nut aware zone, which means they're not supposed to take nuts to school. So we're gonna leave the nuts out of this. I just have a, this is actually a pretty big loaf pan. <clears throat> so hopefully it'll cook faster, but I just am going to grease the bottom of this. I'm about to use my hands, you guys. Look away if you don't wanna see what's happening. 
But in this recipe, you only grease the bottom of the loaf pan. Whoever reminded me that my skin is all dry because I have a cold and probably dehydrated, that was great because I started carrying around my water bottle everywhere and I thought, yeah, you probably are dehydrated. I'm not drinking any caffeine right now because it's not doing very much, very good for me anyways, but there, a lot of lemon tea has happened in my life and a lot of herbal, actually it's lemon ginger tea for the herbal one. So anyways, there we go, we got that. You'll never guess what step comes next. We're gonna scoop it into the pan. <laughs> now my hands are all buttery. <laughs> it's almost really witnessing real life here. All right, we're just gonna scrape it into the loaf pan. Yeah, this is gonna be a smaller, I mean, uh, thinner loaf because it's so big. Get it into all the corners. What am I doing? I like really cooked little chunks on my edge. Oh, sorry, that's probably loud. All right, then we're gonna pop this in the oven at, uh, what did I say? 350 degrees for 50 minutes. So let's see how we get on. I have so many shiny surfaces that you can always see me filming. Hello! <laughs> All right, so this one, I have convection make, and then 350. Oh, I got banana bread under my nail. Avert your eyes. How many times can I possibly push the start button before it goes? Just couldn't read my fingerprint. <sighs> While I'm waiting for the oven to heat up, which, uh, I mean, you're not waiting. I could have just edited straight to the magical bread being done. But <laughs> we've had a lot kind of happening um, with our families and everything. And it kind of made me want to um, address, it's not negative. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how to say it, where if you guys, you guys, if you find yourself faced with a roadblock, I really hope for you that you only see it as a challenge, something that you can overcome and that you can trust yourself to overcome it or that you can find the person that can help you overcome it. But a roadblock shouldn't be a road stop. It shouldn't be something that you're like, all right, that's it, I can't do this. Because there's always a way forward. And when everything feels like it's falling apart, I think sometimes it has to in order for, I think when one thing is done in our lives and we're still clinging to it, it has a way of getting rid of itself. It's, it's going to leave. So if everything's falling uh, away around you, you need to remember it's because it's making way for something that you're meant to be doing next. And it's probably a lot more important and a lot more exciting than you could possibly imagine. And sometimes it's hard to watch um, our old life kind of go away, but I think a lot of times people cling on to something that needs to go to make way for what we're meant to be doing next. And I think that's so important to remember. And remember you guys all have the strength to follow your dreams and to make it through those roadblocks because they're put there for a reason. It's for us to overcome them and it's for us to get stronger after overcoming them. You need to trust yourself that you can do it. If we can do it, you can do it. Absolutely, for sure, you can do it. If you don't think you can do it, email me. I will encourage the heck out of you because I know that you can do it. So, back to the banana bread. <laughs> well, the raw dough. Steven's so funny. He said, you should show me eating a forkful of the raw dough. I mean, the banana bread is not even made yet. It's raw in the pan. And look what I have hovering. A teenager and a hopeful dog. <laughs> now. <laughs> Ooh, that's warm. Wait, I actually need a hug. Just a yeah. second. I'm trying not to burn my phalanges. Tomorrow I'm going to work on it. Steve.
even <laughs> between the dog barking <laughs> and the kids talking in the background. That really <coughs> me coughing. Oh my gosh. So Wait, Jason, I never see you on the vlog. Oh. So tomorrow Jason has Cheery! Can you go make the dog stop barking? Please go play with him. I'm he needs go. attention. He needs all the attention. Turn it into a pie. So tomorrow Jason has piano. Do you so a lot of people asked, would you play a song on piano? Yeah. For them? But not right now. We'll do it we'll do it on tomorrow's vlog because they're on the way to bed. That dog. He needs all the attention. All the time. So tomorrow you'll play, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, look, I can play a song. Start barking. Everything in my house sings. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what... Oh, looks promising. Smells so good. Moment of truth, everyone. All right. All right, I'm gonna not hold it with my shaky left hand. Let me poke it in another spot. You know, you can't really see it. Just don't want it to be raw in the middle. It's hard with banana bread because sometimes you'll hit a chunk this thing's gonna have so many holes in it before I'm done. You know what, I'm gonna do five more minutes. Even worse is that you have to wait until tomorrow to find out how it tasted. Although I guess that's the same for me. Even worse for me, I have to wait till tomorrow to find out how it tasted. Oh, it smells good, you guys. I must be hungry. Well, at least my nose isn't plugged anymore if I can smell the deliciousness of banana bread. It'll still be good tomorrow. Well, it is 10.07 p.m. now. I gotta figure out a way to vlog during the afternoon. I not vlog, edit, so that you guys aren't getting the videos so late because I don't <laughs> I don't want anybody having to stay up that wants to watch the video. And yeah, it's crazy. And then if I have any problems, I have time to fix them. So well, today it's gonna be another late one. <laughs> but I wanna thank every single one of you, as always, for coming on these adventures with us. And it's just our regular life. And a lot of people, I'm saying and a lot. Uh, have written and said, you know what, it's like sitting down and hanging out with, with you through the vlogs. And you know what, it's funny, even though I'm, I'm talking to my phone, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like I am sitting down with you guys and, and hanging out. And I want to make sure you guys don't need to get defensive about the thumbs down. Those are just people that sometimes it's miserable people, but sometimes it's people that just stumbled across this channel and they're like, ah, some chick making banana bread. Pfft bananas they're the worst I don't get offended because it's just it just means that it wasn't the right video for them uh, and if they thumbs it down it's because they they didn't like it it's okay but I really do appreciate all of you coming along these journeys all your positive comments and your feedback I really do read the comments and I appreciate every single one of you and I know I say that every time but I want you to know I mean it when I say it I appreciate every single one of you I'll see you guys all in the next vlog. Take care, you guys.